Let's graph the equation for y equals 3. So simply put, when we have y equals 3, that means all values of y are equal to 3. So if we go to 3 on the y-axis here, 1, 2, 3, and put a horizontal line through it, this is the graph for y equals 3. Put some arrows, show that it goes to infinity. That's our graph. We cross the y-intercept at 3, and the slope, because it's a horizontal line, is 0. But let's put some values in and see what happens. We know that y is always going to be 3. So for any value of x, we'll have y equals 3. If we put 3x, y is 3. If we put 1x, y is 3. And even if we have negative 5x, y is going to be 3. So these points here should fall on the line for y equals 3 that we came up with initially. So we have x is 3, y is 3 x is 3, and we go to y is 3. x is 1, and y is 3. Here's x is 1, and we go to y, 3. And finally, x is negative 5 right here. y is 3. All those points, they fall in our line. So this is the correct graph for y equals 3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.